Hi everyone, this is Dr. Heather Shah. I'm a senior assistant professor at Bahriya Business School. Welcome to the Kalwas channel. So today we have very another interesting topic that is how to select a good research topic. What are the characteristics that you need to consider while selecting a topic? Most of the students, they face that kind of problem that which topic is good or which topic is bad. So we have a certain points which you need to consider while selecting any research topic. So uh, let's uh, get started with that. So the first thing we need to understand is how to select a good research topic. What are the characteristics of good research topics? So it means that there must be some points which needs to be considered and which needs to be understood properly. So in order to understand these things, first thing we need to consider is the use of KUM chart. What is KUM stands for? The KUM stands for, the K is stands for unknown. It means that what is unknown about the topic, whenever you are trying to reach or approach any topic, you need to understand what is known about that thing, which, which are available through literature review. Second thing, what is unknown about it? It means what is unknown about that topic, which is actually the research gap, which gap you are trying to fill and how would you do it, right? And this is the third one, uh, M stands for me. What do you want to learn from your research? It means how it will be beneficial for the uh, population for which you are trying to conduct the research. So it means, you must understand first what is known about the topic then you will try to find out the gap which needs to be filled properly and then you would uh, present your own feedback on that what what you are trying to learn from that research uh, whether you are coming up with the suggestions or uh, solutions or etc you need to come up with the benefits of that research for the general population so uh, what we do normally in the before taking up any uh, topic for a research normally we go for the brainstorm activities secondly we seek guidance from professor classmates and friends and then uh, sometimes we uh, select a topic from class discussion or reading assignments these are the normal practices which we do normally and uh, these are quite good but why not to have a certain points which needs to be considered in order to get the deeper understanding of it. So uh, the question is, have you considered anything that sparked your curiosity? Sometimes you have to come up with the curiosity as well during your class discussion, maybe during your reading assignments, etc. So whenever you are trying to select a good research topic, you need to understand that you have to pass it through a filter process that would actually tell you that whether this topic is good or not, right? So what are the characteristics of good research topic? A good topic is the one which consists of these following things in which you are interested. It means your interest area, right? So you, so that you cannot get bored over that topic because you have to uh, work hard on that topic for a longer period if you are doing mphil ms maybe two to three years if you are doing phd maybe three to five years or five to seven years depending upon you are doing part-time or full-time so the important point is it should have a kind of interest so that you get motivated all the time so it it should have the that quality in that so second point is it should be realistic by realistic we mean it should be attainable and practical by practical we say it should be beneficial to the general population the third point is it should be focused and it should be specific when you ever whenever you are trying to search for a good research topic keep in mind that you cannot research everything so you need to focus it down you need to narrow it down right and the fourth point is the significance of that uh, topic. It means it should have a sufficient reasons to be examined, right? Why it needs to be examined, you must come up with the contribution of it. And then feasible, by feasible we means 
that whether information will be available or not whether it is accessible or not you need to consider that uh, in that way that whether the topic is feasible or not and then manageable by manageable we say that can i manage this uh, research topic within a certain uh, time frame or not in a reasonable duration with the limited resources with the limited cost etc and then uh, availability of literature on the topic whether there is a available literature on the topic or not what kind of literature you have the proper literature or the grey literature uh, by the way we will make another video as well on the literature review that uh, how to conduct the literature review properly and then systematic literature review as well okay the eighth point is the ethical consideration you need to consider whether the topic is ethically uh, right or not so you need to consider ethical consideration you have to understand that the topic should be ethically right okay then we say it should be measurable by measurable we uh, means that it should be uh, uh, empirically and uh, it should be verifiable so that it could be quantified so again what we are referring that whether you are measure it or not if it is a concept for example motivation how would you measure the motivation concept again there is a different criteria for that so it should be measurable and then the 10th point is the solvable or researchable whether the topic is a researchable from practical standpoint or not that is the important point and an important characteristic you need to understand and the last but not the least one is the time bound so whether you will be able to finish that topic within a certain time frame or not is it achievable or not because every research project every research topic has a duration so you need to consider whether you will be able to finish it in time or not so again these are the 11 characteristic which you need to consider while selecting any research topic if it is uh, in your interest area if it is realistic if it is focused if it is significant feasible manageable and you uh, and the literature is available and you have also considered the ethical point of view and then it is measurable researchable and time bound you are good to go ahead right so what they say they say garbage in garbage out so you may need to maintain the quality of your research work well it means that you have to come up with the quality work and then the quality work you will produce with the uh, uh, at the end of that so i hope this video will uh, help you in understanding the good research topic so don't forget to subscribe this channel so that you can get the latest notification right so thank you once again stay safe goodbye